G'day folks, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at connecting multiple drives to the iPad Pro. With the launch of iOS 13, or I should say iPad OS 13, we can now connect external drives to our iPads. Now I made a video about this about a week and a half ago, and it got brought up down in the comments and it was a very interesting question, and that is if you can connect multiple drives at the same time to your iPad Pro using something like a hub. So in this video we're going to test it out and see how it works. So let's just jump right in and get started. So in front of me here, I've got the third gen iPad Pro. This is the one with USB-C. I also have the Hyperdrive. This was actually a Kickstarter campaign. I purchased it shortly after the iPad Pro was released. And I've also got a couple of SSD drives. Now this is a hub for the iPad Pro. It has a USB-C connector on that side that plugs into the USB-C port. And then it gives us a whole bunch of other ports in one convenient package. We have an HDMI port. We have a USB-C port, we have a micro SD card reader, we have a standard SD card reader, and we have a USB-A. And then on the side there we have a headphone and a microphone jack. So we're going to plug it in and see if we can get the iPad Pro to read multiple drives at the same time. But we're not going to just test to see if we can just read drive, we're going to see if we can transfer files directly from one drive to the other, bypassing the iPad altogether. So we've got the hyperdrive plugged in here, and uh, we're going to connect our first drive. I'm going to connect the SanDisk one first. Now with this hub here, we only have one USB-C port, so we're going to have to plug the other drive into a USB-A port. When you purchase the SanDisk drive, it actually comes with this cable and uh, it has an adapter on it, you can see there, so we can go from USB-C to USB-C or we can attach the adapter and now we have USB-C to USB-A. So we're going to use the USB-C-A with the SanDisk drive. So I got the Files app launched and we're going to plug the SanDisk into the USB-A and in a minute here it'll pop up on the side. There it is there. You can see we can go into it, there are our files. So now I'm going to plug in the Samsung T5. This is also an SSD drive and we will plug it into the USB-C port on the hyperdrive. Just like that. And again, it should pop up here in a minute. And there we go. So you can see now we have two external drives listed and we can still go into each one. So we can go in and bring up our files. I can go over to the SanDisk Extreme and uh, go into video. And you can see we can bring up all our files. So now let's see if we can do a transfer from one disk to the other. So right now I'm reading these from the SanDisk drive. We'll use this file here. This is a 1.4 gigabyte file. So I'm going to go to select. I'm going to select the file. I'm going to hit move. And then now we can select what drive we want to send it to. We can send it to our iPad. We can send it to iCloud Drive. We can send it to Extreme SSD, which is where it's already on. But we're going to select the Samsung T5. We can dump it right into the root directory, we can create a new folder, or we can select one of the pre-existing folders. I'm just going to dump it right into the root directory, so now I'm going to hit copy. And it's going to take a minute, I'm going to fast forward this because I imagine it's going to take about a minute. And there we go, it's all done. Now if we go over to our Samsung, we should see that file there. And yes, there it is right there. So that should answer most questions about whether you can run multiple drives, and the answer is yes you can. And you can transfer files directly from one drive to the other. Now I haven't tested any large volume files yet, if you've got a thousand files, I'm not quite sure how that would work, but uh, definitely for just moving stuff around definitely does work well. Let's take it up a notch, I've got a memory card here, let's plug it in and see what happens. Let's see if we can get it reading three drives. And there we go, you can see it's now popped up. So we're now reading three drives at once. We can click on it. And there's all our files. So definitely for mobile content creators and mobile editors, this is kind of like a dream come true. We've been wanting this for a long time. Apple's finally made it happen. And it's going to be really interesting to see what happens from here on in. As we progress with the new iPad OS updates next year with iOS 14, we'll definitely be seeing iPads becoming more of a laptop replacement. Well, folks, that's basically it for my video. Hopefully you found it useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.